Hello everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you all doing? We are here tonight and we're gonna change things up a bit. Tonight we're gonna talk about varicose veins and most of you have an idea what we're talking about so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna share some oils with you that you can use on those varicose veins how many of you here watching have varicose veins now there is a difference between varicose veins and spider veins there is a difference i know a lot of people have spider veins and some people think is oh it's the same varicose veins and spider veins are the same now let's get this out of the way varicose veins are a 99 percent denying meaning that it is not really considered a medical condition it is not a medical condition and the honest truth is most people don't even know how we get those varicose veins veins we just get up one morning and they're there we have theory out there that the varicose veins could be from long-standing poor circulation and you name it personally for me i think it is from you know poor circulation and also the long standing and i do have some and what i do i massage them with these oils that i'm going to share also if you're interested in a diy recipe we have quite a bit of them on this channel page that you can check out and you can use them along with the oils that we're going to share and some of these oils are also in the varicose veins remedy hi Aminia, welcome to the live hi jill hi tt who else is here um early if you're here early and go ahead and comment just remember to keep the comment clean and if you're here for the first time we are encouraging you to comment so don't be shy just comment we're going to talk about products we're going to talk about issues that affect the body in terms of also hyperpigmentation on the skin not only on the face but the entire body we tend to focus on the face a lot so we're kind of taking it a little bit down below the neck and decollete and we're going all the way down to the feet so these oils is good to use on the varicose veins they're also good to massage down those spider veins they're also good for dry crack ears and they're also good for just soft men and the skin so welcome to the live anna welcome this uh, not annie not anna but annie ramna ramlal welcome maxine lee is also here watching from the beautiful sunny island of jamaica and if you're curious about where we're broadcasting from we are broadcasting from brooklyn new york and today we're in the youtube studio meaning that we're not using our regular app we are using the YouTube app and I am blown away how pretty it is over here. Like really, this is an amazing camera that they have in the YouTube studio. So really, really nice. Loving it, loving it, loving it. So if you're accustomed to me like pinning things on, you are not going to see me doing that tonight because I personally do not have... I do not have the other app that I normally use right now. So anything I want to tell you, like I'm just filling in A L E S M A X I I dot com is our website and that is where you can find our oils tonight so how many of you watching have some form of a varicose veins if you have varicose veins raise your hand or just click on that like emoji that is right there the little art emoji click on it if you have a varicose vein so go ahead let me see we have about 35 people watching so far let me see those emoji goes up go to the side and click on that little art that you see everyone should be able to see that little heart go ahead and start clicking it we want to see at least 35 arts go up start clicking that little art that is how you are going to communicate with me tonight if i say something you like what i'm saying go ahead and click on that little heart and don't forget to give us a thumbs up and don't forget to participate in the chat tonight and keep it clean so we're asking about varicose veins now what is a varicose veins varicose veins are bulging veins and i brought my um hypothesis 
here with me for you to show some picture. They are bulging veins, and normally you find these on the back of the leg. Those are the place that they start to just pop up um, all of a sudden on the back of the leg. Now, don't confuse varicose veins with um, how should I put this? No rolls on the legs. Because if you gain a lot of weight, sometimes some people do have, get those rolls on the leg. Those are not varicose veins at all. Those are just the, 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 the skin stretching to accommodate that extra fat. Varicose veins are those bulging ones, and sometimes they could look a greenish, depending on your skin color. They could look a bluish. They could look purplish. They could look, you know, blackish. To be to be honest, and sometimes the bulge is there, and there's no color at all. You just look at it, and there's no color. So those are varicose veins, and when you touch them, it's like you know when you get really really hot. And some of you might not be aware of this. Now let me take a look at the back of my hands. Let's see if I could um, wake up my uh, veins. I'm trying to wake up my veins right there. So um, it's not coming up right now. I normally know how to wake up my veins, but if you look at the back of your legs, because that's where you're going to find the varicose veins, or if your body gets really, really hot, and you can see your veins just, I call them the veins are standing up. So take a look at right here at my hand, and you can see varicose veins are similar. It's raised. You're going to see it raised, and when you touch it, you can actually feel it. You can actually feel it. So if you have that kind of a bulging veins right now at the back of your leg, touch it and see. You can go ahead and just touch it. And if you have them elsewhere, comment. But the most place you're going to find it is the back of the legs. And don't confuse varicose with stretch marks now. Those are totally different. Stretch marks, they are not raised. Stretch mark is a flat. Stretch mark is flat, and even if it's indented, it is not. You cannot feel it by just rubbing your hands on it like that, or unless it's really, really, really severe. But you definitely can feel those varicose veins. So, what are some of the oils that you can use? How do you treat it? How do you treat it? They do have for excess excess varicose vein they do have medical procedure so if you find that those veins are just way out of bound definitely go and seek medical advice um and how you can get rid of them because that's something that you don't want to do for yourself but if you have a little extra you know just a little deer or deer at the back of your legs then definitely go ahead and massage them to boot some form of a circulation so what are some of the better oils that we can use welcome to the live show if you're just joining go ahead and click that little art emoji show some love guys and show some love by clicking the emoji and tonight we're changing it up a bit because normally we're talking about the face the face the face the face so tonight we're going to talk about the legs um if you have anything else going on with the legs like if you have stretch marks that's that's like a regular one these oils can use and if you find that your legs is also dry if you find that you need them to be more tighter you can also massage these oil Kimberly I love I have pretty bad ones on my right legs and I'm playing I'm play, playing the insurance game can get the surgery so um so can get the surgery yeah so if they're really 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 severe they are better out there that you can use to get that surgery done where they're gonna have to shrink it but if they're just minor veins go ahead and play around using some oils now the first oil that i want to introduce to you is aloe vera oil and not a surprise at all not a surprise at all because aloe vera is great for a lot of skin concern it is rich in antibacterial properties anti-inflammatory properties and it has to, it also have some vitamin C in it. It has to lighten, brighten, and it helps to protect the skin, locking the moisture in the skin. So how do you use this aloe vera oil and your varicose veins? You can use it directly on the varicose veins, but you can also mix it with other oils or other ingredients. So take for instance, and I'm gonna show you something right now. This is the Chicha Beauty pink aloe vera gel okay the pink aloe vera gel nothing is wrong with the green aloe vera gel it's uh, just as good but i personally like to use the pink aloe vera gel and i mix it with the oils that i'm going to share with you tonight 
to apply it on the varicose veins and i like to just apply it and just massage it on the veins with the oils in it so if you're interested in the aloe vera gel whether the pink or the green is just good go ahead and look at the side of the video you're currently watching you're gonna see the link to the aloe vera gel or go to my website alexmaxi.com and you can grab the aloe vera gel the pink one is what we're gonna use as a mixture tonight for the varicose vein show some love guys give me some love click on that heart i just love it over here click on that heart right there that heart emoji guys and let me see if you're still with me watching if you're still on here with me watching go ahead and click on that little heart emoji so with that said i would take a sum of the aloe vera gel and I'm gonna be mixing it with the aloe vera oil. Now, some of you might be like, oh, so you're using the aloe vera oil and you're using the aloe vera gel. When it comes on to Chichi Beauty aloe vera gel, we don't have any oil in this, okay? We do not have oil in the aloe vera gel, and that's why we're gonna mix it with three oils, four oils, five oils that we're gonna talk about um, tonight. Any question, if you have a question, comment. And if you're just joining and you do have varicose veins, go ahead and comment we want to hear from you and also is there anything that you're using on your varicose veins if you're using something on it right now and you're seeing result go ahead and comment we're all here to help each others out and also if you have spider veins you can also go ahead and comment and most of the time some people have both the spider veins and the varicose veins so how many of you watching right now have varicose veins or spider veins or even know the difference Friends. Do you know the difference between the spider veins and the varicose veins? If you do, start commenting. Start commenting. So, why am I mixing aloe vera oil with um why am I mixing aloe vera oil with aloe vera gel? Because we are adding some form of a moisture to the solution the remedy that we are going to share with you tonight so we're sharing the oils but we're also making an instant diy right here on the channel that you can use on the varicose veins comment 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 if you have the varicose veins or even if you have a spider veins go ahead and comment and while you're commenting click on that art emoji and show some love to us varicose veins we're waiting on you to comment if you have those and if not um let's talk a little bit about okay so take a look at this picture and it's going to be a little a little blurry take a look at this picture this is someone with severe varicose veins hope it's coming across there it is that is someone with severe varicose veins if you have varicose veins like this definitely go and seek some medical attention and you know see what they can do for you now it's not as okay here's another clip this is what we call severe varicose veins i hope you can see it coming across right that if you have severe varicose veins like this definitely definitely go and seek um medical attention definitely they'll do that procedure for you where they can help to flatten these veins down but if you have varicose veins like most of us do and let me show let, i'm trying to find another picture for you all to show you with you know what just a little minor varicose veins look like now here is the back of um um someone leg take a look at that you can see that's what most people have there is a mixture of varicose veins and spider veins it's a mixture of varicose veins and spider veins so most people are going to have something similar to this and this is not a severe this is not a severe this is minor so if you have it like that then why not just say you know start to massage now you might be wondering why massage anything that you massage on the skin which is the largest organ of the body is going to help to boot circulation and that is why we are massaging however however these oils that we are sharing today also have some benefit to the skin and anything that is going on with your skin 
that you feel like need a little attention one of the best thing to do is to start massaging if you find that like your hands are feeling dry you grab some some oils and you start to massage okay anything your fingers are feeling numb you grab oils you start to massage your face you know having wrinkles you grab oils or lotion or serums and you start to massage and that is because that is how the skin operate the skin are really 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 and truly like to be massaged and that's just wake it up and boost that circulation so aloe vera oil as i said is what we are using so let me reach for my little dish right here and i am using the pink aloe vera oil where you we're introducing to you about three to four oils that are good for varicose veins but at the same time i am also sharing with you how you can actually mix a solution with these oils to use to massage those veins one of the reasons why some of us don't get rid of those veins because we just take it for granted how many of you watching just take it for granted and don't even try to put any special application don't even try to massage it just go ahead and take a shower like regular know that they're there and totally ignore them how many of you have them and just totally ignore them because you know that it's nothing like threatening it's not a for say medical condition to be honest so how many of you just look at them and ignore them sometimes i don't even remember that i have a few at the back of my legs to be honest i just totally ignore them you know when people start to really pay attention to varicose veins and spider veins if you know the answer to that what time of the year does people start to pay attention to varicose veins and spider veins comment 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 let me see how many of you are on the bun wagon rosa i have them but they're not raised okay so if you have them and they're not raised they are spider veins they are spider veins because varicose veins are always going to be raised and most people don't know the difference now the varicose veins are raised and the spider veins are spread out like um spread out like a spider web it just spread out it's not raised it's totally flat those are the spider veins so there you are maxine yes summertime that is the time we tend to notice that we have the varicose veins and that is the time some of you watching now you're gonna get an ad in the next minute we are gonna be going on so watch the a part of the ads and then you can come back in if you do get ads some of you are gonna get in a couple of minutes love it when i could tell you when the ads is coming on so here is the 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 pink aloe vera gel for those of you who are just joining we're sharing oils that you can mix in this and we are just gonna add some of the aloe vera gel in it we have another we have about three to four recipes on the website and the youtube right here guys you can check it out and try it for the veins and i'm gonna use about a i'm making a small batch you can double up on the ingredients so i am gonna use about a, a teaspoon or so of the aloe vera oil and i'm gonna be mixing it with the aloe vera gel what am i making i am making a solution for varicose veins and my first oil is aloe vera oil rich in antibacterial properties rich in vitamins and minerals that is gonna help your veins to slowly slowly disappear and the honest truth is the main the main the main focus is to massage for boots in circulation now take a look i just mixed my pink aloe with the aloe vera oil and now we are going to move on to the second oil give me some love guys it uh, that art emoji and tell me um rose is just right there there in the inner part of the knees inner part of the knees and i'm trying to find um oh say so i didn't get mine done what oh i probably can't show my legs to so show the inner part but anyway oh so somewhere right under here if you can see right under here is where most people tend to have their varicose vein and some of you work jobs that you normally stand up like really really long and then you're just seeing them believe it or not when i was out there really really busy up and down daily 
commuting, 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 commuting from Brooklyn to the city. I never normally have varicose veins or even spider veins on the back of my legs. And that is the truth. Never have those on the back of my legs. However, I noticed that since I start my YouTube channel and I am sitting down a lot, like editing and all of that, that's when I start to see varicose veins right on the back of my legs. And I am sitting down. So it makes me wonder, though, is it really true that you're doing a lot of land standing because I am sitting? So I'm, my guess is since they don't really know exactly why you have those varicose veins, it's all about speculation. I am thinking that is circulation. I am actually thinking that is circulation because when I'm about busy, I don't get those. So if you have it on the back of your legs, this remedy that we're going to share is going to work um, for you because it's going to help to boost the circulation. And it is a remedy that you need to use as often as you can and not only in the summertime. Any question before we move on? Go ahead and comment. Um, what is Amina saying? How are you doing, Jill? Okay, Jill and Amina is talking. So that is the rose um that oil that we just used is aloe vera oil now take a look at this oil right here this is an essential oil and this is our rosemary essential oil now rosemary is used for a lot of things when it comes on to rosemary essential oil you can use it for hair growth you can use it for um dandruff well everything to do with the hair but you can also use it in your diy for circulation okay for circulation rosemary oil is great for the skin however you need a carrier oil with it since it is an essential oil and i do introduce a lot of people to rosemary oil now for this recipe if you also have the fresh rosemary you can go ahead and you can actually steam it or if you don't want to steam it you can actually crush it and put some oil on it and then it infused and you can use it in this remedy but if you have the rosemary essential oil you're going to use it in this do not use any form of essential oil directly on the skin essential oils are made to be mixed with a carrier oil we just add some aloe vera oil in this which is a good carrier oil for the rosemary essential oil so now because this is a rosemary essential oil we're only going to use and take a look at this we're only going to use just a few drops one two three four drops or five drops of the rosemary essential oil. This is what is the main ingredients that's really gonna boot that circulation. So now we have aloe vera oil, we have aloe vera gel, which is our pink aloe vera gel, and we have a few drops of the rosemary essential oil. Go ahead and mix it in. As I was talking about, if you have the fresh rosemary, you could brew it and you can mix it in the aloe vera gel before you start adding the oils to it. We're making a base for a varicose vein remedy right here and this really really works so along with making and sharing the oils i'm also sharing some tips with you all and how to make a solution a quick and easy diy for your varicose veins and if you check out our channel page we have a wide variety any question so Amina, according to my manual therapist, the sitting cuts the circulation off because the knees are bent to avoid the flow of the, okay, so to avoid blood flow. All right, so normally when I'm on YouTube live and I come across the word, you know, um, the B word, and so sometimes I hesitate because back then sometimes they used to penalize us for using certain words. That's why you see I'm reading it like that. But yes, and that is what I really think because I never had them before. Never had them before until I start sitting down a lot. Titi, yes, I have spider veins. I also have um, light spider Spot on my legs some people call them eight spot I stopped wearing short le legs look I stopped wearing shorts legs look too bad and how many of you could really tell us why you think we are embarrassed of our legs because we don't take care of it do you realize that we don't take care of our oh, our let me ask a question let me not speak for everyone how many of you really take care of your legs 
comment, comment. Go ahead, guys. Let me see the comment, guys. And if you're watching and you don't want to comment, click that art button. Let me see that you're responding. But how many of you really, really take care of your legs? Comment, comment, comment. Because sometimes we don't think about it. Sometimes we don't think about it. Of course, we go in the shower, we take our shower, but do you really take care of your legs? How many of you are taking care of your legs? I just want to see that comment go up right now. Comment, 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 and let me know how many of you are taking care of your legs. Andrea, hi, Chichi, hi, everybody. Just popping in on my way to bed. So great to hear about rosemary oil. We have a lot of rosemary here. Um, we'll watch more later. Great show. Stay beautiful. Thank you. And where are you located, Andrea? Because I want to know about all the rosemary that you have there. Okay. So I, I have a small plant outside. Well, it's gonna, if I don't take it up, it's gonna really go bad in the winter, but I'm trying, I'm always trying my luck with rosemary, but I never seems to get it right. So if anyone have any secret and how I can keep my rosemary plant going right through the winter, yes, I know I have to take it inside but you know it still die when i take it in so if you have any 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 um advice on how to keep my plant because i love fresh rosemary and we're not using as much rosemary as we should be using we should be using and do you know you could drink that rosemary that's for another show that's for another show but yes use up the rosemary and you know how a lot of people are using like the eucalyptus, especially the young, younger um, generation. They're now using the eucalyptus branches and they're hanging it up in their shower for them to have that spa experience. How many of you know that you could do that with rosemary? Okay, if you have it in abundance, I went somewhere re recently and I was blown away of um, the rosemary plant. I didn't even have any idea that a rosemary plant could grow like that. I actually took some pictures, don't have my phone right here, but the rosemary plant grew and it's just go over like this, just fall over like that. Didn't know that it could grow like that because here in America, most time I see the rosemaries all up in the year. So maybe they have different types, but this one was like, you know how the weeping willow or um, le fever grass, lemon grass, how it grew and it would bend over like that. That is how that rosemary plant was looking. Huge, huge, uh, several of them. But yes, utilize those rosemary just like you utilize eucalyptus really 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 great Ateria, i didn't know you could drink yes yes you could not only can you drink it but you can cook with it how many of you like a really good roast chicken with rosemary go ahead this show is not about rosemary it's not about oil but yes how many of you like it's one of my favorites to make that's why i'm saying that uh, and if you want the recipe send an ad to me for it a good roast chicken with rosemary i got that recipe out of a cookbook years ago still have the cookbook and i can now make it from scratch but yes um yes um um here it grows like bush in the country in foresty area whoa jealous 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 yes but yes that rosemary flavor and nowadays when i go to the grocery store i notice that i am not seeing as much rosemary in my grocery store as i used to well i do change grocery store because they really tear down the one i was um always go to and now they have making up a big old um apartment complex there so i had to change and now my new supermarket i don't see the rosemary so over the summer i bought a plant and i already reaped and freeze how I many you know that you could do that you reap your fresh herbs and you wash them with cold water of course you put them in a ziploc or bag put a little piece of a um and towel in there and freeze it and then when you're ready to use it it's still fresh rosemary or fresh herb not dry you still get that fresh herb benefit all right back to the veracos beans if you're here we're sharing um a recipe for veracos beans technically we're sharing some oils that you can use on your veracos beans but we are also showing you how to utilize the oils to make a cream that you don't have to just be pouring oil so the base of this that we're using is our pink aloe vera gel and if you're interested in this this is um nineteen dollars on our website alexmaxi.com and today we have the code 12 so if you want to grab it you can grab it and use the code 12 and get it home and we also have the green ones also 
and this is it and this one is $18 on our website and it is 10.2 ounces and you can use the code 12 and grab it we have it in a bundle also and the bundle is a 32 $34 I think for both if you get it in the bundle because normally when we do bundle we give you a discount so you can pick up both of these for $34 however if you use the code 12 you're getting both of these for something like about $29 or somewhere there somewhere there but it's a good time to grab these two aloe vera gel so what we have in this is the pink aloe vera gel we have some aloe vera oil in this and some rosemary oil so that's how we start talking about rosemary oil so we are going to move on with another oil that is good for varicose veins and some of you are going to be pleasantly surprised of the oil that i am going to feature and take a look at this this is coconut oil yes 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 i said it i said it i said it you can actually use coconut oil and those varicose veins and spider veins by itself but if you really want to kick it up a notch you can use the coconut oil and you can get this coconut oil on our website for fifteen dollars um if it's not fifteen it's fourteen dollars on our website and you use the code 12 and you get an extra probably a dollar off it or so so it's a good time to buy our oil so all we have um on our website is a, a collection of oils a collection of oils a variety of oils that you can try we have coconut oil we have pomegranate oil we have papaya oil we also have rose hip seed oil we have a pomegranate seed oil we also have um what am i missing aloe vera oil and star anise essential oil and if i miss any then rosemary essential oil if i miss any oil if you're watching you can see some of our oils at the side of the video you do not have to leave youtube to buy our oils are our aloe vera gel. If you live somewhere where you're seeing the products at the side of the video, you can just click on it and shop right there and just use your code and check out. So coconut oil is the perfect oil for your skin. How many of you believe that? Coconut oil, true story. I grew up using coconut oil all over my body. I grew up using coconut oil from my hair all the way down to my toes. I grew up using coconut oil basically as body lotion. And that is one of the main reasons why we could not have our oil collection without our very popular and actually fastest selling oil is our coconut oil. So what am I gonna do with the coconut oil? I am gonna take, and how many of you know that you can use coconut oil for hair oil? So I'm gonna take some of the coconut oil and i am gonna just pour it in and i'm pouring about a teaspoon i'm making a small batch if you want to make more double or triple up on the ingredients so right now right here i'm making my varicose vein remedy and definitely i'm keeping this for myself even though it's not a lot so what do i have in here i have as a base the aloe vera gel and this is something some of you might not know but you normally see me do it on my channel in which i mix aloe vera with oil and i also add water and some of you might like how do you get that to work now it's step-by-step -step process if for instance we're using the steam rosemary water we would mix the steam rosemary water in the, with the aloe vera gel and you totally mix it in and it's going to dissolve and then you reach for the oils and you add it and you slowly mix it in and then there's no separation no separation because the ingredients that we use in the oh i did say that we didn't have oils in this but we did put a little teeny tiny bit of a castor oil in our aloe vera gel just a little teeny tiny bit of a castor oil to enhance it a bit because the many benefits of castor oil because when we were doing the formula for this i wanted something that is also going to help to enhance when you use the aloe vera all over your skin so just a teeny bit of aloe of um, castor oil is in this and another day we'll talk about the many benefits of castor oil so believe it or not when you are making the varicose veins and both of these do have the castor oil both the green and the pink aloe and we have videos on our channel talking about the many benefits of castor oil great great for circulation and we tend to use it for other women stuff that is issue that is going on make it perfect for uh, for you to try my 
my um, aloe vera um, gel because you're getting all of that benefits from both the castor oil and the aloe vera um, leaf juice there. So um, castile oil is fantastic. Okay. All right. So just made some DIY aloe vera and coconut oil. See what I mean? That's what I'm saying, guys. So mix it up, mix it up. And right now we just complete our varicose veins remedy. This you are going to pour in a small jar and every night you're going to use it to massage both your spider veins and your varicose veins. So the question I'd asked earlier is, um how many you really take care of your legs you go in the shower and if i'm wrong correct me correct me if you're doing better at it correct me we go in the shower we take a shower we focus so much on our face okay yes i gotta get that makeup off and like me i'm just have a line of um facial cleanser and i go in and like mm, what cleanser i'm gonna use tonight and i go ahead and i'll be cleansing my face and yes i do my neck and then i take my wash rod and i am exfoliating my body yes i do pass it on my legs i rub my legs on my feet and all of that but when i get out of the shower do i spend that quality time like i do on my face i get out of the shower i am spritzing on my facial toner i am spritzing on my facial toner neck and decollete and then i'm patting on my serum patting on my serum and then i am loading up my skin with my facial moisturizer and then when i'm done i take a little bit of a body lotion well the honest truth i've been using my aloe vera a lot on my body I, I i i just start to you know i'm going through some things where the aloe vera just suit me right now okay so i grab that aloe vera and i hurriedly hurriedly boop, 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 and i'm done i'm not there massaging my legs like you know massaging massaging i don't do but believe it or not you know we should be doing it we should be doing it, especially when we're not very active. Active mean that you might have a job, but you're sitting down all day. Active mean that you might not have stairs in your house where you can run up and down every day. Active mean that you are running errands every day and you're walking from your house to the grocery store, not driving. And so that's what I'm talking about. We should all be massaging our legs. That's why I'm like, we don't take care of our legs. So if you're out there and if you're watching right now and you really are dedicated to like, you know, massaging that leg and making sure that you use like a nice lotion on it and you massage the knees and all of that, go ahead and comment. Let me hear from you. Go ahead and comment, 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 comment. We're not, but we should because that that could change the game for a lot of things a lot of things so i'm just challenging you all for tonight and whether you have very close base yes or no you can make this remedy and you can use it to massage your legs massage the back of your legs massage your entire legs go ahead three minutes on one leg every day if you can is good is really really good and i'm talking to myself also i am personally talking to myself also because that is something that i need to do i have a quick question for you all how many of you when you travel um a couple of hours you find that you have you know your leg is all swollen and all of that how many of you have that do you know that also circulation so go ahead and take the remedy and look at that water base <laughs> that is what i was coming with water base even though we have the oils there is a trick i'm very soon i'm gonna see this method all over youtube because i know i am one of the first person that show you all how to mix this aloe vera with water and with oil and no separation it's just a trick to doing it okay so you take that oil massage oil for your legs and i can't show my legs right now on youtube i probably could show a little part but yes you take the oil and you massage this is what i want to show you up close i use aloe vera oil i use rosemary essential oil and i use coconut oil with aloe vera gel i can only speak for chichi beauty aloe vera gel but there is the back of my hands looking all dry Take a look. This is the remedy I just placed in my hands. Take a look. I'm applying it here and tell me what you notice. 
disappear on the skin, not leaving your skin greasy. That's why I don't know if it's coming across on camera, not leaving your skin greasy. And yes, you saw me do it right here in front of you. I pour oils in, I pour coconut oil, I pour aloe vera oil, I use my um, pink aloe vera gel, and I make this for your Veracos veins. Go ahead, guys, give me a thumbs up, give me some like emoji, go and click on that like emoji. Let me know if you like this recipe, and what else would you add to this to kick it up a notch? What else? Go ahead, guys, keep it in that art like button. Go ahead, keep clicking on it, and comment and let me know. If you like this remedy, go ahead and comment. Another thing I want to know, what else would you add to this recipe to make it even better for massaging your legs, spider veins and varicose veins, and even strawberry legs, okay? Go ahead and start letting me know. What else would you add to this? Comment, comment, comment. We're waiting for some comment from you all. What else would you add to this? And I love this. Amina, I would add some peppermint essential oil and that's another one that is also great for boots and circulation so um arteria like it everybody feel like they could leave it like this comment comment or add something else auntie you can see all the oils on the chat look at the top and you'll see uh, and bag click it if and you can see the oils yes thank you for that auntie if you're looking to buy any of our oils go on that and bags not everyone is seeing it depending on where you live if you don't see it it means that we don't um that you don't have the the app that YouTube place on for you to see it. But if you live anywhere in America, you should be able to see it and some other countries. So we have the aloe vera gel that you can try and try our aloe vera gel because that's what we can swear by. And we have both the green and the pink. I like to use the pink for the varicose veins. However, if you only have regular aloe vera gel, then go ahead and use it. And you can get these two on our website tonight for $34 minus 12%. $34 minus 12%, it's about $29, $30 or so for both of these, making them $15 each if you want to try them. What do you think about castor oil? Oh, Nicole, we just talk about castor oil. Just talk about it because in our aloe vera gel, we have a little bit of a castor oil. Now, for all my OGs watching, they know we use tons of castor oil in our DIY on this channel. We have some amazing recipes using castor oil, like some amazing recipe. We use castor oil religiously. Now, castor oil, I also grew up with castor oil. And when we were growing up, they normally give us like a, a little half a teaspoon or so of the castor oil when we're over summertime. And we would just gag and we actually had to drink it. And they would make their own castor oil. And we use castor oil for many other things. And if you are a follower of my channel, you'll also know that I made this video year ago, years ago where I used the castor oil and kind of make a little pad for the stomach area. I'm just going to leave it at that for the stomach area. And I personally swear by using castor oil in my hair, my hair, my eyebrows, my eyelashes for bald spot and all of that. As a matter of fact, we're in the process of using our black rice recipe to make a hair oil, an ear treatment oil. And we're also in the process of using castor oil in it. We have a wide variety of videos on our website um, channel page right here using castor oil. Now, castor oil is, we don't have it in our collection. And I'm going to tell you why I don't have castor oil in my oil collection. I do not have castor oil in my oil collection because I swear by the black castor oil. I swear by the black castor oil. Now, the black castor oil is not the easiest thing for you to manufacture like that unless I get hooked up with my, a friend of mine that do the, the, the castor oil I used to feature on my channel. So that's how I'm going to end up because they have the 
plantation, to be honest, where they do their own castor oil. So whenever Chichi Beauty castor oil comes around, you're going to notice, they're going to know that it's straight out of Jamaica, right out of the field, right out of the field. Now, let me tell you a little bit about castor oil really, really quick. And yes, we have a little bit of a castor oil in our aloe vera gel, just a little bit. Now, castor oil contain, first of all, first of all, there are different types of oil. And here is something I need to tell you really, really quick. There are some oils that work really, really well when you do the extraction as cold, cold extraction, while some oil, you definitely need the heat source on it to activate the properties of it, okay? So let's say, for instance, alo, uh, um, olive oil. Using heat source and olive oil is going to rob you from some of the vital nutrients that you need from olive oil. Now, when it comes on to, let's say, the papaya seed oil, that also is great for cold extraction, the way they do the pressing to get the, the oils out of that kernel. But when it comes on to an oil like castor oil, if you do cold pressed castor oil, and most cold pressed castor oil, you're going to find them white. So if you're out there and you see your castor oil and it's white, it means that it's cold press. Now, why do we have white and why do we have black? We have white and we have black because, uh, guess what? We don't have castor oil right here, guys. We don't have it in our collection, but uh, we're just talking about it really, really quick. Now, the reason they have white castor oil is because back then they were like, okay, so if you try to do the castor oil and put the heat source on it, it's going to damage your castor oil properties. However, with, with, with research, they found that the white castor oil does not have any of the rinsalilic acid. And why is that? Because in order to activate rinsalilic acid, which is the main acid in castor oil, you need to put through the heat source. And there comes black castor oil. And that is why I tell you that I swear by the black castor oil and when we do have castor oil in the chichi beauty brand it's gonna be the black castor oil okay all right so if you're here we are just sharing some tips on how to get rid of a varicose vein if you have a question guys comment 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 anyone with a question comment we are waiting waiting for the question and if you don't have a question go ahead show some love give me some love use a dose emoji our show is wrapping up but i want to take some question now don't forget when you go and you're taking care of your body don't forget to massage your leg and i'm talking to myself also because i've been i've been slipping up guys because sometimes i'm very very tired and i jump in the shower get out focus on my face of course focus on my face and you know i keep saying that i've been focusing on my face and by the time i get to the leg area i am already tired i am already tired so i just leave them be and uh, let them be sometimes i just rub some things on my knee titty what about adding cacao oil papaya oil and rose seed oil and yes you can add more oils if you want however i chose those oils that are big on circulation big on circulation for the varicose veins but any oil that you use and you're going to massage the area that is going to help but i use the oils that you're going to get um more benefits from the circulation of using those oils on the skin now we have as i said a wide variety of oils that you can try from the chichi beauty store and we have the coconut which we use in the remedy we have our papaya oil and we're almost out of papaya seed oil to be honest we have the papaya oil we have our pomegranate oil this is also another good oil that you can use on the body you can also mix it in your body lotion and we also have the aloe vera oil which we use tonight in our diy varicose veins treatment special diy treatment with aloe vera gel and we also have our rose seed oil and we have um grape seed oil and we also have apricot oil that's another good oil to use in your body lotion can you use it on your feet absolutely a hundred percent yes and we're coming up to the time when you know the feet are getting all dry so go ahead put your put your and you know i was watching someone do something the other day i usually put let's say 
coconut oil mixed with petroleum jelly on my feet. And I would put a socks on it. But I was watching this girl, and what she did is she put the solution on her feet, and then she put it in a plastic bag. And then she put her socks on. And I was like, all these years, I didn't know I could do that. I was just putting my feet straight into the socks. There's a big difference when you put it in the plastic bag because it hold all that moisture in and with the socks, it protects the plastic bag from falling off. And voila, you wake up in the morning, soft feet, soft, 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 soft feet. All those colors is just, just, just disappear on the feet. So yes, definitely it's a remedy that you can use on your feet. It's a remedy for you to get in touch with the rest of your body get in touch with the rest of your body because sometimes we're not in touch with the rest of the body when i'm not in touch with my body i gain weight everything is happening like i'm not my best but when i'm in touch with my body meaning that when i start to take care of my entire body i know that i now have the varicose of veins that i need to massage i know that i now have my crusty knees that i need to add some form of a moisture to it i now know that my toenails need proper attention my callous feet need to be wrapped in a plastic bag with some oil solution and put my socks on so i know all of this when i'm in touch with my body so don't be in touch with only your face okay don't be in touch with only your face start focusing also on the rest of the body and remember we're all living longer we're living longer and we need to look a certain way think about my age when i was growing up people my age was really really old and it's the truth is the truth and when i say old not in age but they do look old and now when i look back and i was like but believe it or not they were only in their 40s like oh oh now thanks to the internet thanks to modern technology we can meet on a platform like this and we could talk about varicose veins we could talk about spider veins we could talk about keeping the face looking good we can talk about all these things and we're seeing worldwide where other people can see what we're doing share what they were doing and we all sharing everything and that is what is helping us to look younger for longer that is what is helping us to keep our energy level up. That is what is helping us to motivate us to do things, to do a body flush, to, you know, just to eat right and stay together. And I love it. I love every minute of it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So for that tonight, I just want you all to start to focus on the rest of your body. And even though sometimes we're very, very tired, don't forget when you do your face, do the rest of your body. Do a little massage. The massage goes a long way. When you massage your face, it looks better. But start massaging those legs. And I know my age group that I'm talking to. I know most of my subscribers are in their 30s upwards. So I know that we all need to spend a little time massaging the leg. Goes a long way. For some of you, when you walk up the stairs, you're like, by the time you get to the, the top of five stairs, you're like often and puffing or your legs are feeling weak and all of that. If you start to practice to massage your legs, it's going to help. It's going to go a long, long, long way. And another thing while massaging and trying to boost a circulation, which is something I myself is trying to do. If you live in a house where you have stairs, go ahead and walk those stairs in the daytime not only when you're going upstairs you know just make it a habit to do five times up and down the stairs or if you live somewhere near where they do have stairs before it's too late where you can't make the stairs start doing the stairs because that's the best exercise that you can give to yourself because it works your entire body and if you can work out and you can slowly you know medical situation might be happening you can do the workout but you can slowly take the stairs one by one even if it take you a half an hour to get to the top of 10 stairs you do it and you do it twice a day 
makes a big difference, makes a big difference. That's my time tonight, guys. Don't forget, we have our skincare line and support, support, support. And when you watch this video, share the video. We have a wide variety of products in our skincare lineup. We have like a facial cleanser. Go on the website, you'll see it. We have discount code today. Like these are three of our cleanser. And as a matter of fact, let me add the other one to it for you to see. If you are looking for a good cleanser, go ahead and try. We have our anti-aging, we have our two-in-one, and we also have our foam, and we have the Supreme Cleanser. So visit our website and grab something and share the website with others. If you can't afford to buy anything, like I had a customer um, at that other, a bunch of stuff um, sometime last week, and believe it or not, it was some um, someone from our channel that has actually introduced them to our products and they were so, 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 so excited. So for those of you who are doing those things, go ahead and continue and I appreciate it. I am grateful to you all. So even if you're not buying and you can share our our website on your Facebook page, go ahead and share it. That is also helping to support your favorite channel. That's my time tonight, guys. I love you all. And the month of October, we're posting a video every day. Not sure if the notification are going out. Obviously, it's not because we have not been posting religiously over a, for a, a, almost a year now, but we're starting back. So every day, come on the page and look for that new video and also share it watch it and comment okay that's how we're gonna bring it back up for people for them to start to send out back the notification so look out for a new video tomorrow and right to october we're doing the october of october um let me tell you exactly what they call it so is uh october fiesta or something like that is the name and you'll see it all around youtube we're doing it we're not entitling our video but we're making sure that we post a video every day so come watch the videos every day and while you're at it share it go in our store tonight and even if you're not buying anything just go in alexmaxi.com www.alesma x i i dot com that's our website go on browse around and see if there's anything that you need and we have some reasonable price on it like our aloe vera gel and our the boat the green and the pink we feature price reasonable is 10 ounces is not eight ounces these are 10 and both of these together is 34 dollars but if you use the code 12 you get 12% off, which is about $2 and something. So you probably get them for maths calculation. I'm saying $30 and some cent or $31 and some cent for both, not one, for both. Let's say, for instance, our coconut oil. I think the coconut oil is $14 and the grapeseed oil is $15. So you can try those and use that code and get some discount. We have other things like our, our facial toners. And guess what, Titi? Ever since you say you were using the toners on your body, I start doing the same thing. Find it to be very, very rewarding, okay? Find it to really make, when I'm, really make my body feel better than my other body splash that I've been using, believe it or not. So these are what I'm using on my face, neck, and decollete and my body too. We have the blueberry and we have the green tea. These are two perfect anti-aging. And guess what? And I, I forget that I want to share this with you. A couple of months ago, I find that my feet was, and that's all I was talking about, socks and all of it, really, really dry, really, really dry. Guess what I did? I have been spraying the toner on my feet. I wish I could just put it up and show you right now. On my feet, and then I put on my little solution that I use on my feet, and voila, knock on wood, knock on head, my feet are not dry anymore, believe it or not. When I say it was bad, I mean it was bad. It's not dry anymore. So if you have it at home, try it and come back and let me know. Yes, they are facial toners, but I'm saying Titi was the one using it over her body and I follow suit and I'm loving it. So we have the green tea and the blueberry, two amazing anti-aging. We also have the vitamin C and we have the fresh rose 
and these are the coconut water facial toner. These are the one that I said I'm using on my body, not the turmeric or the, the Supreme. Yes, you probably could, but these are the ones that I use on my face and all over. So if you're interested, check them out on our website and also check out the mask that we have. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good night, guys. Love you all. Come back tomorrow night at 7 um 8 p.m we will be here and we'll have a good time together visit the store shopalexmaxi.com watch my videos and watch out for our daily video have a good night a good morning a good evening everyone and i'll see you soon bye bye Ta -ta. well i have not used it okay so here it is over this side that is it